Okay, let, let's talk about the, the big announcement tonight. I know a little bit about it, uh, ethanol. Uh, right. Kind of boosting that for Nebraska and Iowa farmers. Right. That's a great deal. I know the oil industry isn't thrilled about it. How do you balance those two interests? Well, you know, the ethanol people have been so great to me, and I've studied it so long, and it's really it's very important for our country. It's very important for our farmers. I promised it when I was in both Nebraska and Iowa and, frankly, other places. And we're taking care of our farmers, especially with that. But if you look at what we've done with the USMCA, which is basically the redone NAFTA, but I refuse to use the word NAFTA because it's so bad. It was so bad for our country. But the USMCA, which is Canada-Mexico, has been incredibly well received by the farmers and everybody else, but by the farmers, and we're very happy about that. The job growth you've talked about yeah. with that trade agreement, how do you see it particularly impacting those of us in Council Bluffs and Omaha? Well, it's so great. I mean, people are coming in. People want jobs. You need jobs. We're letting people come in on a merit basis to help the farmers. We have to do that. Uh, we're using the merit system as opposed to anybody can come into our country. We're very strong on the borders. But the farmers need help, and they have to be able to get them. So we're having the merit system, and it's really working out great. So the last couple of months have been pretty contentious uh, with the confirmation of yeah. Judge Kavanaugh. How do you mend those fences? Do you see that as your role as a healer? I think he's going to be a great justice of the Supreme Court, uh, a brilliant man, uh, first in his class at Yale, first in his class at Yale Law School. Uh, no matter where he was, he was, you know, top intellect, top student, uh, and he's somebody that everybody respected. You know, 10 years ago, Brian, I was asked by a couple of people, like, who do I think? And I said, I don't know, who do you think? And they were always talking about now Justice Kavanaugh, right? Brett Kavanaugh. They say he's incredible. That was 10 years ago. So uh, the Democrats were vicious, what they were saying. We were, I've never seen anything like it. I don't think anybody's ever seen anything like it. But he won, he got confirmed, and he's now sitting on the United States Supreme Court where he should be. And I think basically he will just go down as one of our great justices. And what will happen is uh, people are already, I think, used to it. It's going to happen very quickly. And our country's coming together because we really have, you look at our economy, it's the best it's ever been uh, from the standpoint of the deals we made with Canada and Mexico. Uh, and South Korea. We don't even talk about that. But we also made a great deal for farmers, for everybody with South Korea. We terminated the other one, made this deal, which is far better. We're opening up these countries that were never opened before. And we're working on China. The farmers have been incredible on China because they say, let him do it. You know, you can't do it too quickly. But I will tell you, China wants to make a deal. And uh, we'll see. I told them they're not ready yet. They're not ready yet. They've been uh, taking tremendous tens of billions of dollars out of our country on a yearly basis. Last year, $375 billion, and we just can't have that. So that's going to work out great for the farmers and everybody else also. So two years ago, you won on the backs of rural voters. What, how do you sum up the appeal of President Trump to rural voters? Well, I think what happened, and it's a very interesting thing, I think what happened is they they heard what I said about trade, maybe more than anything else. Look, the farmers, for 15 years, it's been trending down, down, down. You take a look at soybeans. If you go back five years from when I won, from the election, they cut in half. They were literally cut in half, meaning they went down in half. And now what's happening is they're starting to go up, and we're getting tariffs. Now, eventually, the tariffs can come off, and uh, your prices are going to be way up. I mean, the prices for soy, the prices for all of it will be way up. And I think the farmers saw that. They have confidence in me. Uh, if you look back just two weeks ago, everybody said, oh, he'll never be able to make a deal with Canada. We made a great deal with Canada, made a great deal with Mexico. And a lot of people were saying, you know, that was almost going to be impossible to do because our deal was terrible. The deal we had previous was terrible. So the farmers saw it. I love the farmers. They're just special people. They are, they really have gone through a lot and we're opening up markets for them. And we'll open up, ultimately, China will be opened up to them, too. That's your biggest of all. But right now, it's a closed shop. It's, a, it's essentially a closed market, and it's unfair. The way they treat the United States farmers, but the way they treat our country, it was unfair. And it's all being worked out. Today, the big news of the day, Nikki Haley is yeah. moving on. Were you surprised? No, no, I knew this. Down? We knew this for about six months. We had a little news conference, Nikki and I, today. She's going to work on the 2020 campaign. Uh, 
She's been governor for six years of South Carolina. She's been doing this for almost two years at the United Nations. And we made a little compact that after the big United Nations meeting last week that uh, Nikki, she wanted to step down at the end of the year. And she was terrific. She did a really terrific job. And we're going to be picking. I'm going to use Nikki also to help me with it. But I have great people that want to go in. We have a great cabinet. We have a great group of people, a great staff, great trade negotiators. Um, but we'll be making that decision, I would say, over the next two or three weeks. you got to be jazzed about the midterms, aren't you now? Oh, yeah, we are. I th the numbers are, I think, to a certain extent because of Judge Kavanaugh, I think really to an to a extent because of that, because people really like him. They saw how unfair the Democrats were. They were brutal. I mean, they were — it was terrible what they did, if you — you know, you watch that process. I think that's an extent. And I think the fact that I've been going around to having these tremendous rallies — you look outside, there's thousands of people outside trying to get in. And uh, this is a big arena. I don't know how many seats it holds, but it's packed. And But they're all packed. And I think it probably helps also. But when they see the — what happened — and what's happening with the Supreme Court, they want to have great, conservative, strong justices of the United States Supreme Court. The court is very important to the voters, and I think they see that. And as you know, almost in every instance, the polls have gone way up over the last few weeks for Republicans. Mr. President, thank, thank you, you very for your much. time. Thank you, Brian. It's I appreciate honor. it.